What's up guys, it's Dave Hutchinson here. Today we're starting off at the office. I gotta write some deals on my deal board that I've completed recently. Uh, we have an awesome day for you guys. We're gonna go check out and pick up my new Range Rover. Uh, we have an awesome listing to show you guys today at the Distillery District. That's gonna be awesome. I can't wait for you guys to follow me around today. It's gonna be great, let's go. I kind of wanted to talk about just basically uh, how I start my day as a real estate agent. Uh, I think the most important thing is uh, you got to start your day and set yourself up for success, you know, as soon as you wake up. Uh, so for me, I think the best thing to do is I wake up early, uh, I get a workout in first thing in the morning. Uh, I know it sounds bullshit even saying this, but uh, to get your head in the right mindset, you know, connect your, your mind and your body, uh, I really start your day off right. So every morning I wake up early, I get my workout done and then I get right to my journal. Uh, so this journal actually, it's a high performance planner by Brian Bouchard, uh, amazing planner. Basically makes you set your goals every day. So it kind of starts yourself, you write a message to yourself about what you want to accomplish for that day. You have your morning mindset. Uh, so for example, it's uh, one, thing I can, one thing I can get excited about today is, uh, someone, who, someone who needs me on my A game today is, that kind of stuff throughout the book. Uh, so then it kind of goes on to your top three goals for that day, uh, which I think is super, super important. Uh, then it also has a spot for tasks that must be done for today. Um, and as a real estate agent, I think the most important thing is organizing yourself and staying organized and on top of everything. Because uh, if you don't, things can get really out of control. Uh, so every morning I come do this. I start at six o'clock in the morning doing this. I write down exactly what my day is, who my clients are. So before I even start my day, I'm already set up for success. So I have all my clients, I know who I'm seeing that day, I know which units I'm showing them that day, I know about the units that I'm showing them that day, uh, all that kind of stuff. You know, I send messages to my clients bright and early, let them know that I'm up working, uh, and they're the first person on my mind that day. Um, I let them know where we're meeting that day, I let them know which units we're showing, and any sort of information or documents they need to bring or anything like that. Um, so that's the morning part of my day. And again, I kind of stress that a lot and I think the most important thing with any real estate agent is being on top of your game, uh, waking up and starting off your day right, uh, being in the right mindset, um, you know, for success. Uh, and I honestly highly, highly, highly recommend this book to anybody uh, that's looking to kind of level up their morning routine. Uh, the High Performance Planner by Brian Bouchard. I better get a shout out for this, Brian. Um, but it's an amazing, amazing book. I think everyone will like it. Uh, it definitely helps me keep myself organized. And it's great. All right, here's my new car. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> next one, the next one. You, my friend, are a lifesaver. That could have been, yeah, thank you, thank you. You saved my life. Success. <laughs> we got it. I gotta give credit to Kayla on that one. I don't want to do this. I do it for my own shit. <laughs> yeah, and the trunk, baby. That's crazy. Thanks, man. Search for a specific address, places to be something general like restaurants. All right, 
We're here in the Canary District at 32 Trolley Crescent. We're going to check out an absolute stunning loft. You guys are going to love it. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Let's go check it out. David, hi. Good, good, to, good, see good, to, good see to see you. you. Hi, this is Hurley. She's going to help me. Hi, Hurley. Amazing. Thanks for having us. I appreciate that. My honestly. pleasure. It's always a privilege to show off this amazing penthouse. So nice to see you. Yes, to see you. Nice to see you. Oh, always very yeah, well dressed. Like Thank you. You as well. Love that dress. Thank you. Come on in. Let me show you around this wonderful two-level penthouse that Let's we have. Yes. So we're proud to say that we have uh, 1,300 square feet on this level. Okay. We have a split floor plan. Uh, the owner is the original owner. He's been here for about five years. Uh, mm -hmm. He put about $75,000 worth of upgrades into this unit, wow. uh, including the custom bar, uh, uh, wine fridge, we yeah. have the garbage recycling area, a 10 foot and a half uh, foot long bar, uh, the custom light piece uh, as well, and the really the piece de resistance is really that west facing view. Yeah, that's perfect. It is absolutely breathtaking. You, can't you cannot beat that. And like it's so stunning. Uh, the city of Toronto will never be able to build up and block it, so you'll always have that unobstructed view. Amazing. Yes. So you really don't need artwork here. That's the artwork. That's the artwork, yes. Yeah, and then the beauty here, the way the, uh, the floor plan set up, he's had uh, parties here till probably hosting 150 people easily. So it's really designed with entertaining in mind. Perfect. Yes. So you have, the, like I said, you have the split floor plan. Your master room is uh, just here with the uh, walk-in closet and your ensuite. And then as well, the second bedroom has uh, its private ensuite as well. So it's perfect for guests to be comfortable, yeah. but not to stay for too long. Yeah, as long as I think I might have to trade that Range Rover in and maybe <laughs> put the down payment uh, on this place. This I think is, you should. This is amazing. And then the beauty of this uh, unit as well is that you have two balconies. So you have one here for a little bit more casual right. uh, to enjoy morning coffees or just smaller entertaining. It's right off the living room. Uh, the other thing to mention, they have a gas line uh, for the stove as well, um, Bosch appliances. So a few extra upgrades that you won't see in, the, uh, in these units. Yeah, that's, that's nice, the island's amazing, I love that actually. Perfect for like casual entertaining, perfect. Uh, he's had bars set up, uh, like huge spreads. Um, DJs, everything. So you can just imagine yeah. the ultimate private party and the yeah. ultimate private. I can see myself here. living here. I can I see you living this here is too. Like my kind of vibe, I think, for sure. But you had to make sure I'm invited. Oh, you're coming all yes. the time. Oh, this is amazing. Good. So, what do you think so far? Honestly, this is stunning, for real. The, uh, like you said, when you walk in, it's kind of like the vibe. You know, the vibe you get when you walk in really makes or break it, and it's unbelievable. You walk in, you just feel energetic, you feel the place. Uh, it really speaks for itself. It's cool. It's definitely something, it's unlike you, the other units that you'll see in Toronto. And the beauty of it too, you're in an up and coming area. Yeah. So you still have the opportunity to see all the cool developments that are happening in the community. You're close to the Lakeshore, you're close to Danforth, you're close to all of the major routes. Sure. So, and then you're just a few minute walk to the heart of the city as well. So you're yeah. really in it without being in the concrete jungle. So you sure. definitely have some beautiful um, extra spaces here. If you have a dog, there's a gorgeous park not too far away. So it really nice. has a lot to offer. Yeah. It's, on top uh, of what the space has to offer. Oh, no, it's great. The distillery is not too far from here either, which is nice. It's always nice walking through there in the summer. For Beautiful. Sure. And at Christmas with their Christmas market big time, too. Big time. That's no, nice. I've actually always wondered what that little QB house was. Yes. And did you see the article on Blog TV about it? Yes, I did. It's super cool. Super. I've never had a chance to see it. No, I don't think it's for sale. I don't think it's listed anywhere, but uh, I would love to uh, one day tour that. Maybe that's the next one we do. Maybe. Hey? <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, that view's mental. I understand. This is beautiful too. So here is your second bedroom. Uh, that wall is actually soundproof onto the opposite unit. Double this closets, one? yes. And then you have a four piece ensuite here as well. That's cool. So perfect, I always like that split floor plan. Yeah. And the other thing is a clever use of space and design, so you don't have a lot of wasted space either. Right. So when you walk in, you have your hall closet, you have the laundry room tucked away on the right-hand side, you have that underneath the stairs storage, and then on top, um, on the left-hand side, you have a bathroom for guests. Nice. It's kind of nice, this too makes everything nice and open, it doesn't close anything off. Exactly. I like that about that a lot. And then you have 10 foot high ceilings, and it's a poured concrete actually above. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah. So, in terms. He finished the ceilings? He finished the ceilings to make it a little bit more elegant. Yeah, yeah. You also have the Hue lighting system that I know is a very big, <laughs> a big um, <laughs> My favorite. selling feature. Yeah. And then the custom blinds that wrap around as well. So, oh, that's amazing. Yeah, and even on a cloudy day, it still feels, um, feels very. Uh, quite a bit with natural light and space as Yeah, well. that's nice. It makes yeah. a big difference natural light. I think the condo that I just bought actually for myself, 
It uh, has a condo facing in front of it, so the natural light is way down from yes. what I'm used to. Yes. Uh, and the natural light here makes you feel, you know, when it's beautiful outside and you're stuck inside working or whatever, it makes a huge difference having this natural light. Well, sure. this is an inspiring space. Big time. Wait till you see this patio. It is the most spectacular sp space you will ever see anywhere in Toronto. You have 800 square feet wraparound deck. You have a custom area over here with a fire pit, a little green area there, amazing. gas line for barbecue. You have a custom bar you can easily make into oh, an amazing. outdoor kitchen. And look at this view. How outstanding. Amazing. You have West unobstructed city line views. Yes, that's amazing, honestly. It's beautiful. This is the ultimate party destination for any condo living. No, this is honestly beautiful. Like, you can't get much better than this, honestly. Beautiful. So we put a lot of attention into the way he likes to entertain the space. So what you have, you have this gorgeous unobstructed west view. You have the custom bar here. It's Ipe um, Brazilian wood with a poured concrete. You have the bar underneath with an awning that's wind censored. You have a nice dining area here, little chipping green that we've set up as a little sitting area. And then you have your fire pit there for a little bit more casual entertaining. Doesn't come with the dog. Doesn't come with the dog. Oh, Unfortunately, she's bad. pretty attached. And then the other benefit, uh, in terms of entertaining, you can absolutely host probably about 150 people up here undisturbed. So there has been legendary New Year's Eve and Canada Day <laughs> parties here. So we're really yeah. hoping that the next owners will really appreciate the space. We'll have that to leave our business cards so we can get that invite. 100%. Yeah, 100%. Sure. You did a really good job. No, that's amazing. Thank you. I really, honestly, I, I really do appreciate you sh uh, showing us around. And, uh, it's my absolute pleasure. You know, it's kind of cool. Me and Anna became friends kind of through Instagram. Yes. And uh, she's been a big inspiration to me and uh, I, I really do appreciate you letting us in and showing us around it's my and, absolute and pleasure to your client as well it's uh, that was nice one to let us in so thank you appreciate always nice that. seeing you David nice seeing you too. and keep those deals coming coming <laughs> what's up guys I just want to say thank you very much for watching this vlog episode uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, my morning routine checking me out getting the Range Rover uh, checking out down by the water Queens Key and most importantly seeing that wicked wicked unit uh, 32 trolley crescent uh, beautiful penthouse I hope you guys enjoyed it if you want to see that unit or a personal tour feel free to reach out send me a message uh, and please please like this uh, post repost it comment whatever platform you're watching it on drop a like I appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next vlog episode thank you